I can smell you. I know you're out there. Can you see me? Because I can see you. Want to figure out how to get some cool special video effects for your smartphone? I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Hi, Tech Nomad here, and while I have a thousand million projects that I have to get done today, I just actually got these in the mail from China. <clears throat> I'll have to find out why I get stuff from China quicker than when I order it from vendors in the United States. But anywho, um, I'm starting to use my camera more and more for video work. Uh, I like to do, you know, home movies, little amateur -y things. And I'm, obviously, I'm doing these um, tutorials with this. And the, in fact, right now I'm using my Samsung Galaxy Note 3 to shoot the video, and then I'm editing it in the camera itself. So I was looking and I found, and you'll see these on eBay a lot. Obviously, you already know what they are if you clicked on the video. But they're little tiny lenses. And they're magnetic, and they come with a little magnetic cover. So when you're not using them, they're safe from, I guess, the ravages of the world. And then we have the lens itself with a little lens cover and then a little hook to put on them. So the way that we're supposed to do this is we're supposed to find the appropriate ring. And I'm actually glad. Not only did they give me... Three, um, three types of rings. They gave me like three in each bag. So this should be more than that, which was a concern of mine because I was like, ah, you know what, if I can't put this on or I have to take it off or there's a there's something going on, I'm going to have a problem. <clears throat> and they have uh, resolved that for me. So I'm going to take one of these rings and stick this to the back of my phone. And then, supposedly, when we get ready to use these lenses, we will just take and they will just magnetically lock to the screen. So I'm going to stop the camera now, and I'm going to put one of these on, and then we'll take a look and see what happens. Okay, so the first problem I ran into is when I put the little ring, it's a good thing I have a lot of these little rings, because as soon as I put the ring on and then put the, the lens on, the ring came off with the lens. So I have a feeling that's probably going to happen pretty often, so I'm going to probably carry one of these bags of rings with me. Uh, but again, you know, what do you expect for four bucks? You know that they're going to come off. At least they didn't just give you one ring and it would come off and you'd be lost. So they, they've given you a couple of different rings. I had to take my case off only because when I start to try and put the lens on, it's kind of hitting up on a, against the edge of the of the frame here. So it's the ring's not a problem, but I did have to take the I did have to take that off to, for the lens. And also, and they tell you this, you're, you're, it's going to block the LED light. So you can't really use these with the with the light. So let's actually go with the first one. Now I, I suspect that we're going to have an issue uh, with this one. This is the fisheye lens. So I'm going to put that back on. I'm going to put that on now. Okay. So we have the fisheye lens on. And as I had suspected, as you can see, we have, you're seeing actually the edges of the lens there. And that's just because I, I know with the Samsung, it has a really wide field of vision. So it does not surprise me that. <clears throat> but I do have a fisheye effect. And if I didn't mind, again, it's, I'm trying to do this with my hand in front of it. It's actually funny because of where my hand is. But if I do want to have this fisheye effect or this night gallery effect, I have that. My fingers are not really that, that long, by the way. Um, <clears throat> and I don't mind this on the side, then I think that's fine. And again, I got the fisheye lens. You usually are, it's a distorted view anyway, so that's not a big deal. That's that's what you expected. So <clears throat> I'll take and I'll put that one aside. And now we'll go with <laughs> number two. And this is a sort of a wide field one. So let's just take a look and see. All right, we got the boxes. Let's just put that. The boxes at the edge. We got the box at that edge. Okay, and now we'll pop this on and again we got a little bit of the little bit of the lens 
<clears throat> in there, but now you saw what happened. This, you couldn't see all this before. This was on the edge of it. And now you can see that, so in the same, the same distance, I have a much wider field. And that was the whole idea. So I have a wider field of view. And what that's good for is if you do a lot of selfies or you're doing a selfie video, if, <clears throat> if you, so if you're right here, like this, so you want to be this close because you want to get, I'll use Piggy. Uh, if you want to be this close so that you can get a, um, uh, you're doing a little interview and you, and you want to get this close so you get good sound, but you don't want to be that big in the picture. See, now, look at that. Now it looks like he's standing a mile away. I could even, uh, you have no idea how close this is now. Uh, if I take that off, you'll have an idea. So you can see. So that really does give us a wide field. So that's actually, so that's a good one to have. All right, so that's a nice wide field. So you close. Do that, and this is better than using the zoom, and this is certainly better than standing back about five miles to be able to get the same effect. So I like this one already. So this one I'm fine. You can actually see. So the most I can see right here, <clears throat> there's the edge of the box. You can't even see the top of the table. Those are over there. Let's put this back on. Now all of a sudden I can actually even see a little bit of the top of the table. I can still see more of the box. I can see over here. So that's a, that's a nice little lens to have. So I'll use that one uh, when I'm shooting some things outside when I want to get a nice uh, nice field of view. So. Okay, so I actually had to shoot, I'm reshooting part of this video because I didn't really understand what was going on with the macro lens. I was not doing it justice. It wasn't until I started to consolidate all my rings into one bag and just sort of glancing at the instructions always read the instructions always 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 and what they talked about was this one here which is the macro I had been doing this let's see what we got here I've been doing this and using that as the the macro which is obviously not so hot uh, and that's sort of that's another sort of a wide angle one. Until I read the instructions, and what we're supposed to do is unscrew this part from this part, put this on, and now that is your macro lens. And now let's take a look and see how that works. And all of a sudden, this becomes very scary. Actually, it looks like his eye is a. Isn't that funny? So see, I never even knew that. His eye is a dot. Looks like a little, it's a little label as opposed to the, um, as opposed to actually being paint. So I'd have to say, given that, that the macro lens works uh, pretty decent. Um, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe because I'm going to try and do more and more of these. Again, I'm using my Galaxy Note 3 to create the videos. I'm using some software called Kine Master. That's K-I-N-E. I hope I'm pronouncing it right because it would say the same as sine wave. So Kine, K-I-N-E, Master. And I've looked at a bunch of different software and that really, I'm so pleased with that. Uh, after a few minutes, I was able to really do some really uh, cool things. So I'm going to actually, so as soon as I hit the button, I'm going to edit all this within the phone and produce it and throw it right up on YouTube. And it just takes a few minutes to do. That's why you'll see that these videos are going to start coming out so often. So my final verdict on this is um, fun to have, five bucks. Um, spend the ten, get two sets. So when you lose something, you're not having a fit. Uh, make sure you get a whole bunch of these little rings because they're going to come off. And go out and shoot some video and have some fun.